A lot of people are scared of sharks, and that's pretty understandable. They are massive eating machines with mouths filled with razor sharp teeth. That is truly scary. Oh, oh, shit! But luckily for us, they live way out in the ocean, so as long as you stay clear of that, there's no problem. Except we don't stay clear. We go right into their world and sometimes end up a little too close for comfort. From the closest call involving a great white to a massive shark attacking a group of people, here's 20 terrifying shark encounters caught on tape. Number 20. Why I don't deep sea fish from a kayak anymore. A kayak fisherman is seen out on the sea in this video trying to catch some halibut, but on this particular day, he came upon a much larger and more terrifying fish. The man felt a bump against his kayak after a short time on the water, and he realized this was not going to be an average day. It turned out to be a massive hammerhead shark, and this shark was not having it. The incident quickly escalated into an epic confrontation between the swift and strong predator and the lone kayaker. The initial battle looked to go rather well for the man, as he thrashed the water with his paddle, scaring the shark away. But a few moments later, he said into the camera, pretty sure I just kicked a hammerhead's ass. And the hammerhead was back for another round in less than a minute, this time following the boat and attacking as the man desperately tried to paddle back to safety. In the end, he made it back to safety, but not before experiencing this incredible close call with a mighty predator of the sea. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the star topic. Alert, if you are scared of sharks, don't watch this. Don't worry, this image is not real, but it is, however, a recreation of two friends that went kayaking one day and saw a shark so unimaginably huge that they couldn't believe their own eyes. Actually, they both say that if they had been alone, they wouldn't believe what they had saw was actually real. That's how insanely massive this shark was. When the two friends went back to shore as fast as humanly possible, they explained to the water police what they had seen. Nobody believed them, all except for one officer that had also seen the monster before on one of his patrol rounds. The three men recreated this image and came to the conclusion that this sea creature cannot be a modern day shark. The dimensions are just too crazy. They actually believe it has to be a surviving megalodon from some three million years ago. But how this ancient monster could fly under the radar all this time? Well, that is a mystery. What do you think? Could this be the last surviving megalodon in the world? Comment down below with the hashtag StarTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 19. Shark Attack, South Africa, J-Bay, Cage Diving It was a spectacular moment when a massive great white shark buried its teeth into a diving cage in South Africa. The incredible footage was taken by Ewan Wilson while he was shark diving in Mossel Bay on Sunday. The gigantic fish opens its jaws and repeatedly bites the metal cage, which Wilson describes as awesome. Crew members can be heard yelling in the background attempting to get the shark to stop. According to Wilson, luckily, the animal left the cage and no divers or sharks were hurt. In the past, shark baiting for tourism reasons has been criticized by some who argued that it modifies the way sharks behave towards humans. Cage diving, on the other hand, continues to be a popular pastime for travelers, particularly in South Africa, and clips like this one demonstrate just how gorgeous these creatures are. Number 18. Monster Bull Shark Attacks Kayak Bull sharks are among the most aggressive of all sharks, and they are also the only large shark species that is not afraid of humans. And this kayaker discovered this the hard way when a bull shark on his fishing line chose to fight him. This has resulted in many people believing that the bull shark is the most lethal of all sharks. Bull sharks are also not bothered by brackish or even fresh water, which is why bull sharks are regularly spotted in the Amazon River. This shark, like a bull, enjoys butting its prey in order to immobilize it before swallowing it whole. 
Despite their medium size, they are powerful, stocky sharks that may grow to reach up to 13 feet long, with females being much larger than males. Tiger sharks and white sharks are close relatives. All have a huge number of razor-sharp teeth that are organized in rows so that the shark may twist its prey. With a biting force of 1,300 psi, the bull shark has the highest bite force of any shark and is also the most aggressive. This shark is unique in that it can try out its bite in both salt water and fresh water due to the fact that it has kidneys that are specifically designed to detect differences in water salinity and perform differently depending on whether the shark is in a river or the sea. Also unique about bull sharks is the fact that they give birth to live young in a manner similar to that of mammals, and that the young are already two feet in length when they are born. Once a bull shark's born, it can't expect much in the way of parental care. Once they're out, they're on their own. Number 17. Diver Fights Off Tiger Shark this diver uses a broken spear point to keep a tiger shark away from newly speared Ulua, preventing Mr. Shark from grabbing an uninvited free meal from the fisherman. Please take a moment to admire the precision with which that eye poke was delivered. That, in my opinion, saved them both. Hey guys, you did a fantastic job. The most important thing to do is to remain cool and inform the shark that this meal is not for him. This will teach the shark not to search for food from people in the future. The sand tiger shark is a species of shark that may be found in subtropical and temperate waters all around the world, including the United States. It may be found on the continental shelf, along sandy beaches, and in shallow waters. They may be found in the oceans off coasts of Japan, Australia, South Africa, the Mediterranean, and the eastern shores of North and South America. This species has a strong body and a sharp, pointed head that distinguishes it from others. Number 16. Big Bull Shark Catch and Release – A Day Chilling on Our Own Island A weekend fishing trip on the Queensland coast resulted in the capture of a big bull shark measuring 10 feet in length by a fisherman and his girlfriend. Brett Methvin, the owner of Coastal Chaos Adventures, posted a video of the remarkable encounter on the internet, in which they were able to safely release the shark. Towards the end of the film, Mr. Methvin is seen grappling with the shark on the beach of Fraser Island before successfully pulling the beast into shallow water shortly before dusk. Mr. Methvin's girlfriend, Tall, says, We've just seen a shadow here. It's swimming towards the beach, and it's a big shadow. It's unreal. The massive shark can then be seen moving towards the shoreline in the crystal clear water around the area. While carefully pulling in the fishing line, Mr. Methven can be heard saying, don't drag them into the shallows by the tail, it freaks them out. Uh, don't go skull drag them by the tail or anything. In the next moments, he and Tall pat the shark, making sure to keep behind its dorsal fins before removing the hook from its mouth with pliers. Afterwards, Mr. Methven pushed the shark back into the sea, where it continued to swim away. There she goes, straight into the sunset. How fantastic is that for an experience? Everything was done gently and with the least amount of discomfort, Mr. Methven said of the encounter. Number 15. Close Call on a Fishing Trip – Shark after a few cocktails and a swim in the wide ocean, what could possibly go wrong? Well, it's all fun until someone gets their ass bitten off. It's at that point that it becomes kind of amusing. Fortunately, these men drew the attention of a massive shark that chose to have a look rather than settle down to eat. Every year, around 80 unprovoked attacks are recorded all across the world. Despite the fact that shark attacks are extremely rare, many people are afraid of them because of rare serial assaults, such as the Jersey Shore shark attacks of 1916, as well as horror fiction and films such as the Jaws series. Only three shark species, the Great White, the Tiger, and the Bull, are responsible for a double-digit number of deadly, unprovoked attacks on people out of a total of 489 species. Many more castaways have likely perished at the hands of the oceanic white tip, but these deaths are not included in the official figures. According to the International Shark Attack file, there were 2,785 recorded unprovoked shark attacks across the world between 1958 and 2016, of which 439 were fatal. Between 2001 and 2010, an average of 4.3 individuals per year perished as a consequence of shark attacks. Number 14. Video shows researchers close encounter with leaping great white shark off Cape Cod. 
an unusual encounter with a shark off the coast of Nauset Beach was captured on video. This video shows famous state shark researcher Greg Skomal leaping to avoid a great white breaching beneath him. It happened while Skomal was working with the Atlantic White Shark Conservancy to take underwater GoPro footage of the 9-foot female shark from the pulpit of the research vessel when the incident occurred. White sharks are wild and unpredictable animals, according to the Shark Conservation Organization. This serves as a timely reminder of the importance of following safety precautions and remaining vigilant at all times when in or near the water. Researchers were still able to tag the shark and trace its movements, which was a significant achievement. Boaters have reported several breaches by sharks throughout the years, and the situation continues to be monitored. With bigger female specimens rising to 20 feet in length and 4,200 to 5,000 pounds in weight at maturity, the great white shark is one of the world's most impressive predators. The killer whale, which attacks the great white shark on extremely rare occasions, is the only known natural predator of the great white shark. This shark is also known to prey on a range of other marine species, such as fish and seabirds, according to the literature. In addition to being the only known living species of its genus, Carcharodon, it's also the shark responsible for the most number of reported human bite incidents of any other species. Number 13. Jackass-style shark stunt gone horribly wrong caught on video. It was a stunt in the style of Jackass that came close to biting Australian adrenaline addict Sean Harrington on the ass. Or rather, mauling him. In preparation for an extreme video shoot for their surfing and fishing clothing label, appropriately named The Mad Hueys, Harrington, 27, and his fellow forever clowning twin brother Dean went cage diving with sharks off the Gold Coast, which is Australia's answer to Miami. In contrast to the Jaws-proof reinforced steel cages used by shark divers, the cage Sean intended to wear on his head was a flimsy bird cage purchased at a yard sale for 50 bucks. Not surprisingly, things went horribly wrong when a tiger shark pounced at Harrington after he leapt into the ocean with just a bird cage for protection. When the shark approached, he was forced to use his cage to fend it off and crawl back aboard the boat, where he screamed in horror. Harrington claims that his brother took him by surprise when he informed him that they were going on a B-grade shark fishing tour. Dean Harrington added to the twins' bad luck by jumping into the ocean with the shark, despite the fact that he had just dislocated his arm. We surf every day and have never really seen any sharks, but we definitely won't be doing anything as stupid as this again, Sean added. My girlfriend said, no more sharks. Number 12. Video captures the heart-stopping moment an angler loses her fish to big-ass shark that appeared from nowhere and snatched it from her line. There were plans for it to be a father's film of his daughter landing a big catch while fishing in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, but the plan fell through. The photographer instead filmed the breathtaking moment a big-ass shark erupted from the depths and sprang from the water, grabbing the fish just as little Sarah Brame was ready to bring it to the surface for a quick catch. An outburst of astonished expletives is given forth by the camera operator. Miss Brame is unable to say more than one word. The shark is in the water. A shark, of course. It's a great white shark. A large, nasty shark, says the narrator. She then makes a screeching sound. Understandable. She stands with her mouth open, staring into the sea, before continuing to reel in her line in the hope that her fish, and perhaps the shark, is still on the end. This particular shark looks to be a bull shark, which is noted for its ability to abandon the ocean and travel upstream into brackish or even freshwater. Bull sharks have been sighted in Indiana's Ohio River, according to reports. The ferocious giants may grow to be up to 13 feet and weigh more than 1,200 pounds, and they are extremely dangerous. Number 11. Great White Shark Gets Head Into Shark Diving Cage March 21, 2013, Hans Bai, South Africa This is a very close call for a crew trapped in a shark cage. A shark swims right past the bait and straight at the cage. Meanwhile, another diver, Roger Gray, who had been married the day before, reacted fast to swim underneath the shark's open mouth and escape being injured by the shark's teeth. This bizarre occurrence took place in the South African town of Hans Bai. Hans Bai is a fishing town and renowned tourist attraction in the Overberg District Municipality of the Western Cape, South Africa. Holy fuck, ball, stand back, stand back, stand back. 
It's located in the province of Western Cape. It is well known for its large population of great white sharks, as well as its popularity as a whale watching destination. Cage diving with great white sharks has been the most popular tourist attraction in Hans Bay since it first opened its doors in about 1995. Apparently, after Kruger National Park, great white sharks are the second most popular attraction in South Africa, attracting some of the biggest numbers of visitors to the country for any single activity. Klipchat Cave is located in the Walker Bay Nature Reserve next to De Kelders, a residential shoreline neighborhood in Hans Bay's De Kelders neighborhood. Number 10. Huge great white shark comes close to taking divers' head off. If the stunning video evidence is to be believed, a salvage diver in South Africa came dangerously close to having his head bitten off by a giant great white shark, and at least one shark specialist has no reason not to accept it as totally real. The son of the salvage diver captured footage that appeared to show a great white shark appearing out of nowhere and shocking the diver. Using its lower jaw, the shark hits the diver in the head and then swims away, leaving the diver dazed. The great white shark could have easily chomped down on the diver's head if it had wanted to, but it looked to be more interested in the diver's surroundings. When the shark discovered it wasn't food, he, his body language didn't indicate that he was on the offensive. His back will arch and his pectoral fins will be lowered at this point, said one expert. Real video, according to Drew Serbo, a scientific advisor for both the white shark interest and white shark advocacy groups. It seems to show the shark tearing a piece of rubber off the diver's wetsuit, according to Pete Thomas Outdoors. Despite the fact that the video has not yet been confirmed, it is unquestionably generating a lot of curiosity on the internet. Number 9. Almost Shark Food, 4 miles off Key West, July 2011. Talk about a close encounter. This lady was seriously lucky, and her friend was telling her it was time to get out of the water already because huge sharks were circling her. Worldwide, Australia has the greatest number of deadly shark attacks, with Western Australia recently being named as the deadliest area on the planet for shark attacks, as the number of total and fatal shark attacks has increased rapidly over the previous 40 years in the country. Since 2000, there have been 17 fatal shark attacks off the coast of Western Australia, with divers now having a 1 in 6 16,000 chance of being bitten by a shark that kills them. In addition to Reunion Island and Boa Viajim in Brazil, other shark attack hotspots include Makina Beach on the Hawaiian island of Maui and Second Beach in Port St. John's, South Africa. Shark attacks are common in South Africa and the country has a high death rate of 27% as a result. Shark attacks in Recife have an extraordinarily high death rate, with around 37% of those who are attacked dying. According to the Florida State Museum of Natural History, History, this is far greater than the worldwide shark attack mortality rate, which is now roughly 16%. Number 8. Great White Shark Stalks Kayak Fisherman in Australia Here's what shark expert Ken Gurkha had to say about this crazy encounter. I had an awesome encounter with a very large great white shark in the kayak this morning. The footage kicks in after it had circled me once already, and I decided to move away. Unfortunately, she decided to give chase. She was very curious. Such an awesome experience. I've caught small sharks in the past, had juvenile bull sharks cruise past the yak in local estuaries, but nothing like this beast. Sharks are only a danger to humans in a few species. These sharks, which are enormous and deadly predators, may occasionally attack and kill people, despite the fact that all of the footage was captured in open water by unprotected divers. Oceans, a 2010 French film, features video of humans swimming alongside sharks in the ocean. The film is rated R, so don't try this at home. If the sharks are able to detect the presence of artificial items on or around the divers, such as polyurethane diving suits and oxygen tanks, it's likely that they will treat the divers as more of a curiosity rather than prey. Humans who are not wearing protective clothing, such as those who are surfing, light snorkeling, or swimming, expose a significantly higher area of exposed skin surface to sharks. As an additional precautionary measure, even the smallest traces of blood, recent minor abrasions, cuts, scrapes, or bruises may prompt sharks to attack a person in their natural environment. Sharks hunt for food by using electroreception, which is the detection of electric fields created by all creatures as a result of the activity of their nerves and muscles to locate them. Number 7. GoPro – Man Fights Off Great White Shark in Sydney Harbor 
YouTube user Terry Tufferson posted a video of a guy diving over the Manly Cliffs into Sydney Harbor while wearing a GoPro camera affixed to his head. Immediately upon rising from the water, a buddy alerts him to the presence of a big white shark that is going straight for him. While sharks have been observed in that region on occasion, huge sharks, such as the one featured in this video, are quite rare. The fact that a shark of that caliber is unusual does not rule out the possibility of it showing up, but it is a very unusual occurrence. An animal is provoked to attack when a human touches, hooks, nets, or otherwise aggravates the animal in some way. Attacks on humans that occur outside of a shark's normal environment, such as in aquariums and research holding pens, are considered provoked attacks, as are all occurrences involving caught sharks. Humans can mistakenly instigate an attack, such as when a surfer accidentally impacts a shark with his or her surfboard while surfing. Number 6. Shark filmed circling surfers at Plattenberg Bay, South Africa, ABC, Australia. Unconfirmed reports suggest that a giant white pointer was swimming beneath surfers in South Africa's Western Cape area when a 14-year-old drone pilot spotted the incident. The shark came into view as Zach Berman, an aspiring nature drone photographer, claimed he was observing shark activity with his father near Plattenberg Bay when the shark slid into view on his drone. According to him, at first, I was having difficulty comprehending what I was seeing. When it started making its way towards the surfers, I feared the worst. I honestly had no idea what was going to happen next. In reality, the shark was merely looking for a potential food supply. Once it realized that the surfers weren't seals or other natural prey, it showed no symptoms of hostility. This is fortunate for those gentlemen, since just look at how huge this shark is. He could have devoured them all if he had desired to do so. He, on the other hand, was calm and just inquisitive. Shark attacks are common in areas where there's a lot of water or other factors that impair the shark's senses. Humans appear to have a disagreeable flavor, or at the very least, one that is unfamiliar to the species. The ability to evaluate whether or not an object is worth predating on has been demonstrated in recent experiments with a single bite. Humans are, on the whole, too bony for them to like being around. Seals are popular because they're plump and full of protein, and they're also plentiful. Number 5. This is one of the most misunderstood great white shark clips right now. Here's another video of folks who were completely oblivious that a massive shark was inspecting them, captured by a drone. The drone operator made the decision not to warn people in case their panic agitated the shark and caused difficulties for the shark and others. If people realized how many times they've been in close proximity to a shark in the ocean that went undiscovered, they may comprehend how seldom sharks attack humans. However, when they do attack, the results can be devastating for people. When a drone or other source alerts the public that a possible shark hazard exists, in the water, people must be informed on what to do. A swarm of scared individuals can drastically alter the circumstances in which a possible threat exists. Shark nets are used in Australia and South Africa to lessen the chance of being attacked by a shark. Since 1936, shark nets have been used off the coast of Sydney to protect swimmers. Shark nets are now placed at beaches in New South Wales and Queensland. 83 beaches in Queensland are meshed, compared to 51 beaches in New South Wales at this time. The KwaZulu Natal Sharks Board has been installing nets at a number of South African beaches since 1952, and it's done so on a number of different beaches. Number 4. Rare Footage – Shark Attacks Swimmer Here, we see one lucky guy who was almost eaten by a hammerhead shark. The hammerhead charges him down right by the shore, but then the shark's all like, psych, and he just turns around and gets on with his regular shark business. Lucky guy. Hammerhead sharks are a group of sharks that belong to the family Sphernidae. They were given this name because of the unusual and distinctive structure of their heads, which are flattened and laterally extended into a hammer shape known as a cephalofoil, which gives them the appearance of a hammer. The majority of hammerhead shark species are classified as belonging to the genus Sferna, but the winghead shark is classified as belonging to its own genus, Eusphera. In addition to sensory reception, maneuvering, and prey manipulation, the cephalofoil has been proposed to perform a variety of other activities that are are not necessarily mutually incompatible. Number 3. Great White Shark Surprises Solitary Surfer I was under the impression that great white sharks all played the cello to warn you of their presence. This one, on the other hand, just moseyed on up as quietly as a mouse, prompting this surfer to freak out and dive for his life. The Jersey Beach shark attacks of 1916 claimed the lives of four individuals during the first two weeks of July 1916 along the New Jersey shore and in Matawan Creek in New Jersey, according to the New Jersey Historical Society. <laughs> 
Generally speaking, they are recognized with being the catalyst for increased media coverage of shark attacks in the United States of America. It was in 2010 that a group of nine Australian shark attack survivors came together to advocate for a more positive attitude around sharks. The survivors made particular notice of the role played by the media in instilling fear of sharks in the public's mind. Attacks on sharks on a massive scale were prompted by films such as Jaws, which resulted in the deaths of thousands of sharks. Number 2. Great White Shark Breaches at Lower Trestles, San Clemente, February 7, 2020 This shark looks like he wants to impress the surfers with his skills by performing an amazing breach. A breach occurs when a shark makes a fast approach to the surface of the water, with the accompanying momentum propelling the shark partially or entirely free of the surface. Great white sharks use this approach to hunt seals, and it's one of their preferred methods of prey. This procedure is frequently employed on Cape Fur Seals at Seal Island in False Bay, South Africa, where it is common practice. Due to the unexpected nature of this behavior, it's extremely difficult to document. Chris Fallows and Rob Lawrence were the first to picture it, and they are also the ones who created the technique of dragging a slow-moving seal decoy to mislead the sharks into breaching. Around 600 breaches are expected to be observed by scientists between April and September. The seals are swimming on the surface, while the great white sharks are lurking in the deeper water below, ready to begin their predatory attack. Number 1 Rare Benny Great White Shark Attack at the Jersey Shore 4K High Def Shark Attack 829-18 Here we see the most terrifying of all. Some have claimed it's the rare Benny Great White Shark, and it is terrorizing these poor people on a New Jersey beach. One woman throws herself to the floor, giving up on life completely, knowing there's no hope of escaping this mighty beast. Others just say it's a dog shark and it's being friendly. Squality, often known as dogfish sharks, dog sharks, or spiny dogfish, is a shark species belonging to the Squaliforms order. With 119 species, dogfish sharks are the second biggest shark order. They have two smooth spined dorsal fins, but no anal fin, and their skin is often rough to the touch. The body of dogfish are thin with a pointed snout. In comparison to other sharks, these species are also considered to be more compact. Dogfish sharks got their name from a group of fishermen who saw them hunting smaller fish in dog-like gangs. They are carnivorous, preferring to eat species that are smaller than themselves. So this lady certainly doesn't need to worry. Sharks are terrifying, right? Which of these sharks do you find the most scary? And be honest, after watching this video, will you ever go back in the ocean again? Well, you can't say we didn't warn you. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.